Hello, and thank you for joining me for some live coding. We are once again continuing on with our LCD display auto exercise. I used that term before, but we'll get to it later. We just last time we managed to get a multi-digit display going. Uh, we some original assumptions were totally invalid, and now we have some better assumptions, better understanding, and we can continue to another. Two-digit display, and I'm just going to stick with two. I'm going to go instead of eleven. I'm going to jump up, and we're just going to do. I'm going to do twenty-five because that's all I got. Um, <clears throat> I probably should put a different number than twenty-five. Let's do twenty-three. The reason I'm going to do twenty-three will be very, very apparent in just a moment. Okay. And we'll do this for 23. Oops. Okay. There we go, 23, so, dang, dang, thing pipe, pipe thing space, and space, and space pipe, space thing pipe, okay, there we go, 23, I'm gonna stop using words. Okay. So a little bit of cleanup. We're gonna clean up some comments now. We don't need all these anymore. So get rid of those. We don't need these. So we're gonna get rid of those. I think that's okay for now. And here we're just gonna duplicate this entire block. Change that to be 23. So we're still failing. So this should be now LC2. We're just going to start hacking away. That's nice and same. Um, this is three. Oh, this is it. So last time I, uh, this went from four to five, and that's because we added a space. We had we had this space, so our original plus four was incorrect. It's four plus one now. Um, so three has that. Okay, so there's our three top, bottom, mid. And let's go ahead and put these in place. So interesting, interesting bit here. Not a lot of change. And we pass. Okay, so very, very clearly, we need to look at our first digit. And and then this is processing the next digit. So we have a pattern. We we have something very very similar. So how do we uh, how do we handle this? Um, I think let's get a little recursion going because that's always fun, right? All right. All right, I'm on 23. So, but we're passing. We have similarities. So right now it's just this that we need to break apart, which we kind of have. We have that we could break on new lines for our constants that we have. So interesting. And thought of that. Thinking about it now. Useful feature. Okay. So. Instead of these const, let's do a string array of lines equals LCD three dot split, and we're going to split on um, 
environment new line. And this should be lines zero. Are we still passing? Big question. Yes, we are. Okay. And this will be lines one. Do we still pass? Yes, we do. Fabulous. And this will be lines two. Do we still pass? Yes, we do. Fantastic. So we don't need to do anymore. Gone. Simplified. Fabulous. Okay. Uh, that is the uh, fantastic, really. Uh, starting at zero here. I don't need that. We're always starting at zero there. I thought I. Right, well, let's just do it in file. Get rid of that again. Okay, so we have it's probably just method specific. Kind of curious about that. So let's go check. What is it doing? It is okay. Yep, there we go. Boop. Dot two. Dot one. Yep. Okay. We have LCD2, LCD3. So this is the assignment. So this is the next number, really. Um, I guess this is the next number. So I'm going to extract you to variable for occurrence. So we're going to call this LCD digit. Now, if I pull this into a method, and this is append next digit, add next digit. We give it the digit, we give it the result. I don't think I need a result. I do need result. Okay. Let me get it back. Yeah, I don't like the order those are in, but we'll deal with that later. Add next digit, get the digit, get the result. Let's go ahead and uh, um, refactor control RS to refactor the signature of the method. And I'm going to just move that one down. I'm going to swap their orders. And hopefully it actually went and updated all instances of it. Okay, it did. Add next digit, result, LCG digit. Fabulous. Um, then I can inline that. Um, I can inline that. No, I don't want to inline that one yet. Because honestly, how do I get two? How do I get two? Okay. That's better. Um, I can actually refactor this one into add next digit of zero. Right, right. Everyone passes? Please, yes. Okay, so interesting. Um, so we're working. The question I'd ask myself here is. Do I need another test to force further logic into this? I think I could go okay with this. You know what? Since I just have two care two digits here, we got very similarities here. I'm going to add a digit a, a test for three. I want three digits in here. Um, and yeah, I'm just going to do three the three in line here. Seven, eight, nine. And I want three because then I have to add two digits. It might give me a little bit more of a pattern going on. And we want patterns before we refactor. That's an important thing. Okay. So now we're going to have three. So you're seven. Go to pipe. Eight and middle is like that for the nine space 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 pipe and space space underscore space. Okay. Um, and this is seventy nine. 
rename this B789. Okay. Next. Okay. So now we run. It should fail. Fabulous. Our input is 789. We want to do something special. And I really think that we can just do a quick little hack of. Seven, eight, nine. Bam, look at that. It worked. Okay, so we have a pattern forming. That's fantastic. That's going to get us to a really strong point. I think we can start refactoring here, um, but let's. We're going to do that next time. It's been. A, we're, we're at the the mark. I like to close out. We're all green. We have passing tests. We're starting to see a growing pattern. Results get set. Things get done. Okay. Fabulous. Fabulous. Just freaking fabulous. Okay. So, let's go. Uh, next time. Uh, Thank you for listening and uh, hear me next time.